When it comes to performance, I want to start by talking about wheels and tires. There are so many wheels and tires in the market, it's a very subjective part of your van. You have to like the way they look, but beyond that, we wanted to make sure the wheels performed and that they had technology that no one else had brought to the wheel before. We started with our Talon about two years ago, and then last year, our Mojo. They've become some of the most popular wheels for Sprinter, and I think it's because of the technology that we've added to this wheel. What separates Owl's wheels from the rest? First and foremost, function. It had to be strong. A lot of the wheels out there are made for pickup trucks because molds are expensive. So a lot of these wheel manufacturers will take a wheel blank, not machine out these holes, and they can remachine them for all different vehicles. So what you end up with is a 10,000 pound Sprinter on a wheel that's rated for 2,500 pounds. Now, I'm no math whiz, but if you multiply 2,500 times four, I'm pretty sure it's right there at the load limit of those wheels. So the first thing we want to do with our wheels is make sure we doubled that load limit. We didn't quite get double, but we're pretty close. It's over 4,000 pounds per wheel. And that's because we, we pressure cast these. So it's not just uh, molten aluminum going into a mold. It's actually squirted in under pressure, which makes the entire wheel stronger. So know that with our wheels, you're not going to break a rim. You're not going to bend a rim on the trail like you would with a wheel with a lower weight capacity. The second thing we've done, which was never done before and has now become ubiquitous, it's always nice when the big guys copy what you do. We have two valve stems. And a lot of people ask us, why do you have two valve stems? And it's because when you go off road, you want to air down your wheels. Well, you can't really air down a wheel. You want to air down your tires. And it's really hard to do that whole back and forth where you're airing down and then you're checking the, t uh, the pressure and then airing down and checking the pressure because you can't check the tire pressure while you're airing down because it's constantly changing. Enter the apex valve and a second valve stem. So we allow you to put a uh, air pressure gauge on one valve. And then the way these work is they have this little cap that screws off and then it's got this plunger. So instead of having to remove the valve core of your single valve, you pop this plunger up which is a lot easier to do when it's mounted on the wheel. And this opens up these massive holes along the side, and you can take a tire that's at 75 PSI down to about 30 PSI in less than a minute, as opposed to the old way, which is like holding a stick against the air valve and sitting there for 45 minutes. And I'm no spring chicken, so my knees can't take that anymore. This technology is not only in the Talon, it's in our Mojo as well. These are available on our site. And the last thing I wanna talk about with these wheels is this right here. So this is a bead retention ring. When you lower the pressure of a tire, it spreads the contact patch. It allows you to get a massive amount more tire on the ground when you're off-roading, which is critical. You'd be surprised how much of a difference it makes. In fact, the taller and skinnier your tire, which is a little counterintuitive, the more contact patch you have as you air down. What you also have, however, is the bead sits very tightly on the edge of the wheel. And you've heard of beadlock wheels. Well, beadlocks, actually can pose a multitude of problems, everything from mounting the wheel to legality for on-road use. So what we did instead is we put this ridge, which is fairly sharp on the inside of the wheel. So your tire, once the bead is set, when you're airing it up, fits in this groove, and that bead doesn't tend to come off the inside. So even when your air pressure is really low, this inner ridge holds that bead on. So we've run these down to 15 PSI, even lower, don't tell anyone. And I've never had a tire come off the bead. And that includes absolutely hooning it through the Baja desert and trying to get the van airborne. So somebody's doing something over there. If you don't want your wheels to sound like that, get out.